So I'm going to take time uh, this month to video blog on how to of food and beverage that I've talked about over the last several years, um, actually in my blogs, on the website, or if you're one of our practice members, actually in the office. And these are a lot of questions I've had about these things over the years, so I thought I'd take the time to do just that. So this week is, uh, how do you make bulletproof coffee? Well, what the heck is bulletproof coffee? If you're like me, I heard about it for a little bit of time before I actually investigated and found out exactly what it was. So bulletproof coffee was created by Dave Asprey, bulletproof executive. And as a coffee lover, uh, I was really searching out to find the best coffee out there. And so that's how Bulletproof came about. So Bulletproof, think of it as really quite simply, is a way to get great coffee beans without a lot of the toxins, with a lot of, a lot of the processing that you see of most of the coffees that are actually out there on the market. So you're getting the great antioxidant properties of coffee. You're getting the more energy. You're getting the more alert uh, feelings with coffee without all of the the other yucky effects which most coffees people if they have even just sometimes a cup it makes them feel really jittery they you know they're talking a mile a minute they get that kind of yucky feeling in their stomach afterwards and too from drinking coffee um, so bulletproof is really a solution to that so this all started with me when I started the 21 day sugar detox January of this year and for 21 days, I was going completely off of dairy. Now, we've been eating a paleo or primal uh, way for a number of years, but I just wanted to kind of have this break in dairy over that time period. And I usually will have um, Americanos, which are um, uh, espresso mixed, mixed with water, which I'm going to show you. This is actually the way I make my Bulletproof coffee. And, uh, and have that with a little bit of liquid whip. Uh, whipping cream or heavy cream. Um, so with that high fat content, there's very low lactose, so it doesn't really have the effect on the mind my body that dairy often has, which is just to not feel really good and bloated. But to me, um, having black coffee was out of the question. And people have said they have their coffee with coconut milk. I tried that and didn't taste good at all. And, uh, and I tried actually um, taking a break from coffee for 30 days back in the fall. I just thought, oh, I'm going to just see what it's like and not have coffee. And uh, by day five, like I felt fine. I didn't feel any withdrawals or anything like that. By day five, I was just miserable. And I just went, what the heck am I doing this for? So, uh, and I've kind of never looked back. And here's the thing. I have a nine-month-old, which actually my husband Ed is watching right now because I was going to have on camera, but he's super wiggly right now. He is teething, and so he's up, honestly, every hour or two at night. Uh, we also have a three-and-a-half-year-old, very busy boy, Tyson. And we have a busy chiropractic office, family wellness office, lots of different projects we're doing we're really passionate about. So uh, I need to have coffee in the mornings. I need to have coffee. So um, so this is how it kind of came about. I was looking into how can I still have coffee and, uh, and yet not have dairy during that time period. So this is how I actually ordered Bulletproof Coffee and started that. So I'm going to give you the steps on how to do that in just a moment. Um, so I will see you back in a flash. All right, welcome back. So I'm going to show you then the how-to of actually how to make your Bulletproof Coffee at home. So this is my espresso machine, best investment ever. We love our espresso machine so much. Uh, use it all the time. So you can actually either now, I actually make my coffee, if you will, they're Americanos. And so the, all it is is, is espresso actually mixed with water. Um, Bulletproof coffee, actually, rec I mean, you're usually just doing it with coffee. I'll have the link on the website too, the two best ways that they found to actually brew coffee to get the most of the effects and the best flavor with it then too. But for all intents and purposes, I'm going to show you how I actually do it for me each day. So you're going to take, now I've actually done these already just to kind of speed up time, just like in the cool cooking shows, they'll do this. So what you're going to have, and I'll give, I'll put on the, um, the, the blog post on our website, a link to the Bulletproof Executive website, which gives you the actual recipe. So you don't have to feel like you have to write down notes right now, but you're going to have then your coffee. Okay. And I've actually, in my case, and I've got my long shot, or it's about a double, triple shot of espresso. I've put a little bit of water in since that's again, my coffee. Okay. So Americano is espresso and water. I've put about a tablespoon of butter a tablespoon of the Upgraded Brain Octane oil. So this is also from Bulletproof. It's about 18 times stronger than coconut oil. So it's gonna be a great source of fat, just like the butter. And it gives you a greater source of concentration, mental focus, and energy. And then you're gonna blend this. So they actually have on the Bulletproof website that you use a blender 
Um, you can use a frother as well too, which is what I'm going to use right now. This is actually on my espresso machine. So this actually froths it then for me and puts that steam in, kind of a way that you would create a latte. So as you're going to see, when I actually pour this out, and it's going to be a little loud, so I'm sorry right now for a few moments. But as you're going to see, and as when you'll try it home then too, it has a real creaminess to it. So it really is like a latte. It doesn't taste like butter. It, um, yeah, it really is just amazing. These are also the Bulletproof Beans I get. Since I drink this all the time, I get the five uh, pound bag. You can get a pound bag too. And I'll give you links somewhere you can actually uh, purchase a bulletproof coffee online. But yeah, this with your coffee, your grass fed butter, or you can also use grass fed ghee, um, and your brain octane oil. You're going to then froth this or again blend this. Blender works fine as well. Just take a few more moments, get this all frothed up. Yeah, it's cool. The first time I tried this, I thought, oh, I don't know how this is going to be. But I was really, really pleasantly surprised at how delicious it tasted, how much more alert that I felt too as well. And it didn't have that jittery feeling with, with more uh, traditional coffees out there. So I'll give this just a few more seconds and you'll see, I don't know, I don't know if it's going to be able to come through in the camera of the frothiness or the foam that comes with it, but we'll see how this, this turns out. Okay, so I'll stop it right here. So you can, I don't even actually see, there's a lot of foam is actually on there then too. So when this pours out, so again, it's like really, really, sometimes I have to kind of wait for, to not pour at all because there's so much. If you look on Instagram, I have lots of coffee pictures up on there, but it is foamy, foamy, creamy, delicious. Let's see if I can bring this a little bit closer for you to see as well then too. But yeah, it has like a beautiful foam on there. Again, really, really creamy, and delicious. If you're used to lattes, this will be a great transition um, if you're wanting to get off the dairy and again, to start your day with that really, really great fat source. So I hope this has been of value to you. I've had a lot of fun making this. I look forward to seeing you back next week. Now, I'm actually going to bring my friend Sarah, and we're going to teach you how to make kombucha from home. So I will see you back next week. Uh, again, I'll have all the links for you on the, uh, the blog post on our website, and have an amazing day. We'll see you next week.